I like the size of your torture, Brandon. <laughs> I got lucky. It was a great day for epoxy today. I'm excited. Yeah, it was awesome, awesome day. Sweet. Just what we love to do on a pretty day. Play with epoxy. It was time to float the kill scene. But first, Brandon had to teach us how not to break a torque wrench. Tighten it a little more, but I guess you can over tighten it. You can kind of see it on here, huh? That's pretty cool. Yeah. How that works. It'll click. When it gets to where it's supposed to be. You hear it? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it. Cool. So that's at, oh, 100. 100. Yeah, we just did 100. It was 100. Now, try to guess where it was at before we tightened it. Yeah, and that was just the small bolts. When we got to the big bolts, we definitely learned a loose keel is worth weaving over. All right, it wasn't that sad. The keel job really wasn't too tough. The hardest part was the prep work. Brandon always comes in at the last minute and just exactly. takes all the credit. <laughs> he had Philip and I clean the keel bolts, get all the gunk and goop and old, I guess you call it crustiness, away from them so he could pull the nuts and we could inspect the hardware and make sure we tighten the nuts back down to the torque spec. We have seven bolts attaching our keel two small and five large. Some of them can only be reached by Philip and only when he lays flat on his stomach and buries his arm up to his shoulder in the bilge. Pretty soon we had them all cleaned and prepped and ready for retorquing, but it did turn the boat into quite a mess. Project. Project boat. Tool. Tools. Batteries. All kinds of crappage. Yeah, we're gonna get her back to a boat real soon, like, huh, honey? Right. Real soon. Yeah. But it turned out to be worth it because we uncovered a few issues with our kill bolts during this project. <laughs> Think it's got a little stress on it? Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> wow. Hey GoPro! Now, you can see why sometimes this may not seem like fun. Sort of tearing your boat apart, like you always just want to put it back together and make it all clean. But sometimes you gotta crack a few eggs to make a cake. You gotta make a mess because you gotta find some of the problems. And here's one we found. This is our nut and washer for one of our keel bolts. Now, do those look nice and safe to you? This one in particular, really worrisome. Um, you know, you don't know if it's life-threatening, but if it makes your keel a little weak, um, the connection, your keel to the boat, that's kind of where we're getting that weeping keel because it flexes just enough to, at the seam, cause a water leak. And that's why we've had to, you know, route all that out and we're going to epoxy it. Um, but so here, is where the kill bolt uh, is and we pull the bolt as you can see that down there the bolt and the pull the bolt pull the nut and the washer off and that's what we found so we'll be replacing that hardware and our keel will be more secure and won't flex as much keels kind of important <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying it always good to inspect your hardware we cleaned everything really good with a wire brush and grinder and replaced what we could and set to retorquing the bolts back down, which included injecting 4,000 around the post holes where there were gaps and breaking out the torque wrench again while Philip serenaded us. Now, recall the variance on our small bolts from where they were at, 75, to where they should be. 100 on the torque setting. Wait till you see what we found when we got to the big bolts. 
If it starts getting into that, okay, try it now. Yeah, kind of frightening. Like I said, good thing we checked the kill bolts and tightened them down. Brandon said this is something you should do every three to five years. I don't want you saying you did everything on the boat but tighten the torque wrench. I mean, tighten the kill bolts. I know, right? I want a, I want a chance. Everything was going great until we got to this, our last bolt, when, well, you've seen the footage, <laughs> but you haven't seen the aftermath and the executive decision that was made. Uh-oh. What broke? Fuck. Yeah, that's scary. That's scary. I did. That scared me. Are you sure we didn't? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Better go out and see if the kills. I think it's tight enough. I'm just saying, if we were sailing with 75 or whatever before, I think this 180 is going to do us. Fuck yeah, hey. You were pulling hard, man. I don't want to round this in. What's that? I mean, can we strip me up? Right. You know, it's tight enough. <laughs> it had to be uh, just a fight. Tight enough. Did we break it? Probably. <laughs> hey, you're the one set up. You push for here. You yeah, pull there. Yeah, it's Team to effort. Be <laughs> yeah, we were all laughing when we found out it was just the torque wrench that broke and not a kill bolt. We'll Thank goodness. So once everybody was in a good mood, the kill bolts were retorched to 250, also known as 180. It was time to have some fun with epoxy and get on that kill scene. GoPro, we got taped up, cleaned up. We're gonna get all fixed up. Get that scene looking right. I don't think our kill just weeped. She bawled and blew her nose out at the end. Look at that crack. This is more, more than gold. So I've been told. All right, she's still living. Look, that's a little extra gold. You can't charge us for that. <laughs> Per our usual custom, Brandon would take a minute to show us how to do things right, and then the DIYers would step in and do things as right as we could. <laughs> Look at this go! Hi, you. I didn't do so good with the gold though. Half of it was lost to the wind. Brandon helped me glass in the bigger Let's problem fix areas. Our keel. And soon we had a flush keel scene. Okay, we've got our scene. Hopefully you can see. It was nice and flush. I won't tell you about the job of pulling the tape though. It took a half day spent on my knees and is likely not interesting at all. <laughs> it was a horrible job. Know that I spared you. All right, final piece. What do we got? Okay. Prompt you. Sorry. <laughs> There we go, that is our keel seam. We got some spots that I don't know if we're gonna have to float it again or if it'll sand down fine and that's okay. Um, still got a lot of work to do here. But I think that'll sand on in, just sand down. We got some little rough edges, but like I said, sand it up. It looks pretty darn good, I think. No, it doesn't. It was close, but there were, like I said, some edges and some tiny little cracks where water could get in. So I had to refloat it a third time. <laughs> and I had a little bit of a meltdown about it. Thankfully, we didn't catch it on camera. So all's well. Kill seam, done. Next up, we get back on the rigging and scary thought, 
have to brush off some seriously rusty trigonometry skills trying to figure out the almighty the angle of the dangle <laughs> all right what are we doing a squared plus c squared equals b squared or something like yeah, that it's called pythagoras in theory pythagoras what do i put in lord help us <laughs> but for philip figuring out the rigging riddle really was light really at light. the end of the tunnel exactly at the end of the tunnel I kind of feel like figuring all that rigging stuff out with the light at the end of the tunnel for me. Because that was just, oh, yeah, that was a painful of... process of every every time we make some decision, then it would be like, oh, well, shit. Change. Yeah, now we got to switch this. It's a lot of little, just little parts that have to, you got to make work with what you have, too. Well, and I, but I did like the fact that, you know, I was able to make some of those decisions about, what we were going to do and knowing what's there rather than somebody just unilaterally doing it, you know? Yeah. You, you know what's going on in your boat. Liking the videos? Awesome. Go to havewindwilltravel.com where you can follow on the blog, check out my books on Amazon, or help us give the gift of cruising on Patreon. Get inspired and get on board. <laughs> 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 yeah, you got a nice torture. It's going down. It does kind of look like a big donkey dick hanging down, man. The way it moves kind of cracks me up. <laughs> I'm being serious, dude. This is farm essentials, people. I need to get out in nature and see what all is in store. <laughs> No one's watching, just the world. Just for mementos. Wow, look at that one. Jesus. Alright, but all six rebedded, right? All seven. All seven. And only one torque wrench broke. Only one torque wrench broke. <laughs>